Well, today I'm talking about GURPS monks. Uh, playing a monk in GURPS is like no other system uh, that I have found yet because I really enjoy the, the John Wick style second by second, blow by blow uh, narratives where you can choose if you want to punch or parry or, or uh, dodge or arm bar or disarm or stuff like that. Um, for GURPS Fantasy, uh, I have uh, made up my templates for my classes and races. Um, these are available for download on, uh, on my shop as usual, but I've gone ahead and made the, the monk template um, as a basis with uh, in GURPS. I've given uh, him power blow, pressure points, and pressure secrets as his skills. Um, also an extra attack. Since he's got two hands and he's ambidextrous, um, his unarmed strikes uh, can be, um, he can make two attacks every melee without, uh, without the offhand penalty. So uh, also with the advantage of being trained by a master, that opens up some of these weird and wonderful skill techniques and uh, skills and techniques, which I'll talk a little bit more in a minute. Um, but GURPS being a skill-based system um, allows you to uh, start adding up uh, these skills and these uh, martial arts techniques. Uh, it's fairly free form, the technique system, it's optional, um, but it allows you to take any skill and uh, if most skills, like uh, the example is uh, photography, the photography skill, for instance, uh, encompasses still photography and video. So obviously a technique of that skill, a valid technique would be uh, motion video, um, motion picture. So at the expense of sinking your points into um, photography general skill and being equally good at photography or cinema, you can kind of uh, spend your points more narrowly and specialize kind of in the cinema photography. That's the example. In the example uh, for a monk, uh, we have the skill karate, which is just a catch-all in GURPS for a martial arts form. Maybe this guy knows kung fu, and a technique would be, you know, punching, and I could get better. So usually I would roll to attack using my karate skill. Uh, if I have the punching technique or the kicking technique, for instance, uh, I can sink points into those specifically and I would be better at uh, those particular actions under the karate <laughs> category. So I wouldn't get the good, um, the higher skill level for a headbutt, for instance. Techniques and skills, uh, if you want uh, to have more on your character sheet as you grow in experience, there is the martial arts source book which is just, uh, what is this, 250 pages of, of lovely options and defensive attack, faint, different um, <laughs> combat options and, and lots of different uh, techniques that you can specialize in. Uh, and it's not all unarmed, of course it's uh, weapon fighting, any martial uh, fighting. Uh, push, kick, reverse grip, sacrifice, throw, return, strike. Crack, ear clap, elbow drop. These are all just worked examples of what you can dream up yourself, of course, uh, just using the basic set. Um, I have not actually made use of the martial arts book. Um, haven't really needed uh, to use it when we, the odd time that we've had to come up with a technique or something. We more or less wing it. Uh, we all agree what seems reasonable and GURPS being a very um, predictable, uh, fairly simple base system. It is easy to rule on the fly usually. So why would you want to play a monk in GURPS? Why is it the best monk? Um, for me, it is simply the ability to picture my character doing these parries and these disarm moves, um, getting in close. So you have the close combat options. Um, 
uh, well, close combat rules, where if you close with somebody, they can't hit you with their weapon. They have to either engage fighting back with knees or elbows or drop their weapon and draw a knife and try and knife you, especially if you're fighting somebody with a shield. If you get inside that shield, they take the defense bonus of the shield, so the better the shield uh, or the bigger the shield, uh, the more it hinders them uh, in combat. They will suffer uh, the defense bonus of the shield as a negative to their dexterity for all roles while in close combat with somebody. So if you're a monk and you're lightly encumbered, you're very mobile, you're moving in close on people before they can get a shot on you, assuming you uh, can get initiative, and you can just start pummeling them with your fists, with your knees, your head, whatever, whatever it is you choose to use. Now in the case of my game world, my monks start off with basic um, ability in the power blow, pressure points, and pressure secret. Power blow allows you to double your strength for an unarmed uh, hit, or if you uh, spend fatigue points. Pressure points allows you to stun somebody. Uh, they have to make a health uh, contest against your pressure points skill. This works uh, by hit location as well. If you pressure point, uh, if you hit somebody in the head, you punch them in the head and use the pressure points, you are able to uh, blind them. If you hit them in the chest or the torso, uh, they will start to suffocate and have to make a health roll every turn to fight that off. Uh, at, at these low levels, it's not as likely to happen, to work. <laughs> but uh, as you improve, uh, this gets quite nasty. Pressure Secrets allows you to turn your hand into a, a blade or a stabbing weapon. You Any damage that gets past uh, the armor it gets doubled or tripled uh, if in... Uh, um, uh, yeah, sorry. It's doubled. Uh, as you would do for an impaling weapon, uh, your hands become that uh, that deadly. They're hitting nerve centers and things like that. There's a lot of, of course, you can come up with any other, um, dream up any other cinematic uh, martial arts abilities, and uh, just uh, okay those with the game master, and you're ready to go. They're fairly easy. You just tack on a, you do. You uh, agree on what the negative modifier would be to attempt something like that. You agree on how hard the technique would be to learn. Uh, hard, uh, hard or average, I believe. And then you start spending points that way and it starts that technique. Um, your skill in that technique works to overcome the negative for performing that action. It's as simple as that. Say, let's do one on the fly. Say I want to... Um, learn the sweep the leg Johnny uh, technique. I'm just doing this off the top of my head. It, I think it's already defined in martial arts book, but I don't know it because I never use the darn book. Sweep the leg will say, well, a normal kick in GURPS is a minus two to strike, I believe. We'll say the sweep is minus four to pull that off, um, trying to sweep somebody's legs out. It's a minus four to hit. We'll say it's a hard technique and it's based on uh, brawling or a karate skill. Um, so say I have a skill of 10 in karate, uh, I will sink, say, extra points to get my skill up to 14 in sweep the leg, and uh, now that effectively cancels out that negative four compared to my skill, what my skill would be otherwise without the technique. More on techniques, uh, perhaps uh, in another video. But back to being a monk. Dang, it's good to be a monk in GURPS. You've got all the options available um, that you could think of for any kind of monk specialty. If you want to be the fast, dashing, climb everything, stealth, um, hiding in shadows type monk, easily done with the skills, take the advantage, enhanced move. If you'd rather be more of a, a tank kind of monk who can just, excuse me, defend anything, uh, just crank your uh, defenses, take the enhanced defense advantages. And being unencumbered, uh, you will have a, a great, you could get a, a ridiculous dodge and be nearly unhittable. Uh, you would be spending most of your points uh, in the defense zone, so 
you'd be hard to hit, but you're not going to be uh, dealing that much damage. The point system, the point buy system in GURPS uh, takes care of the balance for you. But in GURPS, when you close on somebody and you, you're getting in there and you're mixing it up, you never have to worry about uh, attacks of opportunity in GURPS, which is, which is different uh, to deal with for some people coming from 5e. It's quite a, a paradigm shift maybe sometimes. Um, but it allows you to really free wheel on the combat field if you've really, especially if you've gone the route of the highly mobile monk, uh, and you put your, your points into enhanced movement, you can literally run around, run circles around people, get your shots in from behind where they can't even uh, defend uh, in, in some cases. Usually it's a minus two or a minus four. Um, the grappling abilities in GURPS allows you to uh, make strikes for people's weapon arms, grab their weapon, uh, wrench it out of their hands if you're strong enough. But best of all, there is, <clears throat> thanks to the power blow skill, you can uh, start doing some pretty heinous damage. And there's always the striking strength advantage you can buy up, which starts adding to your effective strength for damage dealing. So no more um, monks being outclassed <clears throat> by, <clears throat> by the fighters and uh, their ability to uh, dole out damage. A monk could fairly easily keep pace, I think. Um, sinking points uh, just uh, specifically in striking strength and probably mobility and enhanced defenses. Lots of options. It's hard to... It's always hard to pin down or describe uh, what a specific class build would look like in GURPS because you've just got so many options. I could be here an hour uh, going over all the different options. Suffice it to say, as you should when coming up with a character, uh, when making a character for GURPS, you should approach it with a concept in mind and focus on making that concept come to life instead of shopping for abilities. So. If I was to play a monk tomorrow, I'd probably go, I'm thinking I'd go the skinny, live, quick, mobile guy. He's got um, high defenses and probably not that great of uh, damage output, but I'd spend all my points uh, going uh, mobility and defenses and all unarmed, of course. I wouldn't bother probably learning any special skills, any exotic weapon skills or anything like that. Anyways, that's just a quick rundown, very brief, once again, on what playing a monk can look like in GURPS. And here is my uh, little class template for a monk. It's a starting place, as always. Uh, a class template for GURPS can be mix and matched, and anything can be dropped or added. You can drop some of these in favor of some of the... Uh, Maybe the uh, cleric, <laughs> the rogue, maybe the rogue skills like stealth, pickpockets, stuff like that. Roll on.